Okay, hello again out there everybody. I just want to make this quick video explaining how to download or save some of your matches in Ancestry DNA uh, for two reasons. Uh, some of you may have heard that they're going to be removing our, our DNA matches that are at six and seven centimorgans starting sometime in August. And I know a lot of people still want to keep that. And uh, so with this video, I'll show you how to do, you know, a couple of things. One of the things that I've heard that will allow this, you to keep certain six centimorgan and seven centimorgan matches are you can add them to a group such as these right here that I've got here that you see here or you can have a note uh, added to them and if you do either one of those two uh, the matches will continue to show up in your results the other thing you can do which is you know the, the, the second reason uh, for this video uh, I want to show you how to download your matches and if you download at least six and seven centimorgans and save them in a spreadsheet and send that spreadsheet to me I can go ahead and import those into your DNA matches because not all of the matches that have been shared with me I wasn't able to always get down that far because that's just one of the flaws if you will call it that with ancestry site you can only you know scroll down so far before it start you know getting overtaxed and not cooperating so I'm going to show you right now how to copy and paste your matches here into a uh, uh, spreadsheet you want to look up here first at your filter row and we're going to come up here to this one called shared DNA by default all matches are selected so that mean if you were to scroll down and scroll down for a long long time you would eventually get down to your last match but like I said ancestry almost never let you get down that far before it, it seizes up and, and, and stop working so what you want to do here is you want to come down here click on your shared DNA match filter come all the way down here to the fourth option which is where you can select which matches to display based on how many centimorgans you want. Here's what I recommend you do. Let's start with seven centimorgans and then we'll go to six because the lower the number here, the more matches you're going to have. So chances are you're going to have uh, several thousand. So I'm just going to put seven in this first box and I'm going to put seven in the second box. That means I want this to only show me matches that have seven centimorgans okay and if you were to look at this little note here that's what that's all about how they're going to be updating your DNA matches you're going to have fewer matches once they do that at any rate you'll see now all of my matches now says seven centimorgans that's that's all they show and the thing that I don't like about this particular uh, format on their website you get to the end or you think it's in, then it'll pop back up here and you scroll down some more. And uh, uh, you can only do that for so long before it seizes up. So here's the way I typically import matches into the spreadsheet and then export that spreadsheet into the database after I've done some cleanup work. You want to first select the matches that you want to work with. In this case, I'm going to start here with my highest uh, seventh uh, center Morgan and I'm just going to uh, select I mean press down my left mouse key hold it down while I drag the mouse down for a little ways and then what I'll do is I'll hit my end key that's E N D end key and I'll scroll down to as far as you've got this plate as you can see after a few seconds your uh, cursor or your scroll bar indicator will pop back up from the bottom and you've got more so I'm gonna do it we just once more for demonstration purposes now I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna go back put my cursor where I want to end it 
out here on the right hand edge somewhere and I'm going to again click the left uh, uh, mouse button to select now I've selected everything from the beginning down to here and at that point you simply copy by hitting the control C C as in Charlie or C as in copy and then I'm going to come down here to a spreadsheet that I use and then but what you can do here I'm going to go you can click it in any cell but normally cell B2 would be the best one and I will explain that why I said B2 or BC now this is where it'll take a few minutes for this to uh, paste depending on how many you copied at one time and this is why it takes me so long to import matches that when you share them with me uh, because I have to do this over and over again typically taking you know, eight to eight to uh, 12 14 hours to copy and paste over between 10 and 15,000 matches so you can see it's a very laborious process anyway I'm going to pause this video until that page and then I'll come back and resume uh, talking about it okay now you see they've all been pasted uh, this look kind of cluttered and cumbersome uh, that's that's you know I'll deal with that the trick is the, the problem is now all of these pictures in here that's going to kind of make it difficult for you to see what you want to see but one thing I'd like for you to do first is come up here to cell uh, B I'm sorry cell A1 and just click here and then we want to freeze that pane just click on freeze pane and we're going to call column B we'll just call that name okay and that's all we need to do about that so now when you scroll that, that will stay there now if you it would be very helpful in fact it's going to be mandatory otherwise with the pictures embedded in the spreadsheet the spreadsheet the file size would be too big to email so we wanted to go through and delete all the pictures in here now this is one thing that I've mentioned before in our Facebook group that's going to be very important to know you will need a free add-in called ASAP Utilities and I just go to asaputilities.com or Google it and you'll find you can download it they've got a paid version and a free version just click the free version because this is for personal non you know non professional use once you've selected uh, once you install and select the ASAP utilities you'll come over here to objects and comments and left click that and what I want to do is I want to come down to number four where I can delete all objects in the selected worksheet so I click that and say do you want to delete them all you say okay and now all those pictures and things they're all gone now what you do is I'm going I want to get down to the bottom of the list that I just pasted here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to column A or any other column that's not used now I'm going to hit the end key END and the down arrow and it'll take me all the way down to the very bottom of that uh, spreadsheet so I know I'm at the bottom so I'm well past anything I just pasted now I know I pasted them in column B so I'm going to scroll over one to the right by hitting the right arrow key and I'm going to hit the END key in and the up arrow and that's going to take me to the last item in that group of stuff that I just pasted. Well, I don't want, I'm getting ready to paste the next set now. So I'm going to just click down from there, one or two spaces. It doesn't matter as long as it's in an empty cell. Then what you would do is come back to your uh, matches page that you're recording. And you can see where you left off here. Then just come up here, left click it. And they'll undelete, I mean, they'll unselect those you had selected. Now you hold that, you click it again, hold down your left mouse key, pull it down to select a few, and then you can click in. You can do that two or three times, however many you'd like, do the process all over again. But just for demonstration purposes, because I want this to go fast, I'm just going to select a few. Let's see, I'm just going to go with those I've selected there. I'm hit Control C, come back here to my spreadsheet hit control V and you see this will be a lot faster now that I did select that many it's already there 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here again. I want to delete all the pictures and objects. So I'm going to delete all objects. Yes. And now that's gone. Then just come back again. And pretty much you just repeat this process over and over until everything's done. And what this does is it, this is the, everything that you see here in this column here, this is what make up our database. Actually, I've got a little bit more here than I have in the current database, but with this information, I can include a lot more stuff in the database, such as say, what you think the estimated range is. I can, you know, I can include that as a field in, in, in a future uh, version of our database. I can also indicate, you know, what your shared DNA matches are as far as uh, 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 center mortgage and number of segments. I could also uh, tell you how many people in their tree if they have a tree. Like this right here has got six people right here. These others are only. So there's a lot of information here uh, on this button here on the names. That is where I go in and extract the URL information, and that's what gives me the match ID, in case some of you were wondering how I do, do that. And I do all that using ASAP Utilities, and I have a little different layout on the spreadsheet, but if you would get this for me at this point, I can take it and uh, uh, format it and import it into our database. On that note, I'm going to end this